Hey guys, JR here. I wanted to show you this project that I made for my wife. She just has this little car, and we like to pile in it and go camping or go on road trips. Uh, the problem that we have with it is that it doesn't have a whole lot of storage space. Just a little, little hatchback, and we get crammed up in the seats. So I went to uh, Harbor Freight and was looking at their um, cargo racks that you put on the back of your car and they just it didn't seem useful enough to us plus we also wanted one of these yard wagons to carry around the kids or uh, you know tote stuff around at a convention we might go to or something like that anyways so I went I think we bought this from Home Depot and what I did was I first welded two pieces of steel on the underside as braces and under them are two little pieces that have holes drilled in them. So, I don't know if you can see that with the light there very good. But there's a hole in the side of each of these. And those correspond with some pins that I welded up right here. They have a cotter pin. And uh, those line up with these two pins. They're just bolts. Line up with those two bolts. And then this actually this receiver carries them. But it just goes right in my regular trailer hitch, right there. And then comes out, and they both pivot, right there and right there. This one has a bolt to keep it in the upright position, but it also has a cotter pin, so you can pull that pin out and pivot the whole thing. So here's the, mount, the wagon mounted up. I have those bolts going through the carrier, through the bracket on the wagon, to the other side of the carrier, with a washer and a cotter pin on that side. And that holds it in an upright position. Normally we have sides on the wagon so it sticks up higher than our hatch. So what's nice is this lower pin, you can pull it out. like that and then the whole wagon drops forward and it's still off the ground but allows you to open the hatch and then you can lift it back up and put the hatch back down and you're good to go.